Soldiers got wind of Pulfo's tirade and soon took to social media to express their outrage. They said the radio man had no right to insult a former three-star general who not only served as commanding general of the entire Philippine army and commander of the presidential security group, but also stayed and fought with his men in the front lines of the Marawi siege. Nung mapanood ko yung video, nung link, nung una talagang hindi ko tinapos eh. Hindi, hindi ko makary. No. Bigat. <laughs> Bigat ha? Bigat yun. General Bautista, uh, fellow cavalier, na tinitingala ng mga sundal sa kanya ang naging kontribusyon sa armed forces sa the Philippines. Hindi lang siya basta isang opisyal. He, is a, he belongs to the elite. He is an, a manager, a leader, a commander. Role into one. His last few years or months of command was devoted in Marawi. Tulfo initially issued an apology for the shouting, but did not take back his criticism of Bautista. And so the reckoning by the uniformed services continued. On Friday, the Philippine Military Academy Alumni Association Incorporated announced the possible filing of charges against Tulfo for tarnishing the reputation of a member of PMA Sandiwa class of 1985. On Monday, the Association of General and Flag Officers also weighed in, calling Tulfo a bad example to striving and future media men. And in the midst of all this, both the armed forces of the Philippines and the Philippine National Police simultaneously pulled out their men previously assigned as security detail to the Tulfos. The AFP pulled out two Marines securing Mon Tulfo, special envoy to China, but added had they had security detail to Erwin Tulfo, they would have recalled them too, primarily for his bad behavior and second to bring the Marines back to the front lines. It's also about him being the cabinet secretary. He is an alter ego of the president, no less. The point being, kahit ano pa siguro ang maging kadahilanan, siguro hindi naman dapat umabot sa ganong klaseng parang sabi nga nang iba, ipaglapas tama naman sa pagkatao. The PNP then recalled the security detail of Irwin himself, brothers Ben and Rafi, and Rafi's wife Jocelyn. The PNP said this was part of a periodic review. The PNP chief Oscar Albayalde himself a member of PMA Sinagtala class of 1986, said the berating of Bautista is part of it. It has something to do with the with his comments to, of course, to the, the uh, secretary of BSWD, but that is not the main reason. Okay, it's just one of them. Yes. The palace, meanwhile, called on the public to move on from the tussle, saying that while Secretary Bautista enjoyed the trust of Malacanang, people should accept Tulfo's apology too. Rafi Tulfo, meanwhile, encouraged his brother to make a more sincere public apology. It was uncalled for. It was below the belt. Tinawagan ko siya this weekend, sinabi ko sa kanya, Erwin, no amount of explanation can justify that action. Malin mali ka doon, Tol. Napakinggan ko yung interview mo na nagbigay ka ng apology. Medyo hilaw yung Tol. Kung pwede, humingi ka pa ng another apology, public apology, this time magpakita ka ng sincerity para makita talaga nilang lahat na nagpapakumbaba ka. And ginawa ni Erwin yan 